What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won not one, but two gym badges. Look at that. Three badges total. I feel awesome. I feel great. Alrighty, so, let's see. What's next? What is next? Well, normally we would be going to Celadon City, but there's a little few, or there's quite a few things that we need to do in order to get to Celadon City. One being... We need that flash technique. Yeah, we need that flash technique. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a small side quest. Uh, I may be capturing a few Pokemon here and there. I don't know. Not for our team. I don't even know that. But, you know, I'm just going to be talking out of my butt about a few things. I don't know. Things that come up to my mind, my interests, that kind of stuff. Whatever. Anywho, let's go right here now. There is a Professor's aide right here, and he's going to be like, Oh, hello, Draven. How are you doing? It's me, one of Professor Oak's aides. Did you meet the other aide? He had a package form of Professor Oak for you. He said he'd be look, he'd look around for you at Route 2, Draven. If you're in Route 2, in the Route 2 area, please look for him. Now, if you guys don't remember, in Route 2, well, Route 2 is all the way down to Viridian City, and uh, you're, think, you're probably thinking, well, how do we get there? There's no way of getting there. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's where you guys are wrong. We can go to the Diglett's Cave now. That is a shortcut. And now we got the cut technique, so it won't be easy for us to actually go there. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be going into the Diglett's Cave, going back to Viridian City and all that fun stuff in its all glory. So here it is. Diglett's Cave. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Well, isn't that a surprise? Diglett dug this t long tunnel. It's, it, goes, uh, wait, it goes right into Viridian City, they tell me, I guess. I don't even know. I'm like really bad at reading. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really am. Anywho, Diglett's Cave. Now, normally, a lot of you guys would actually go and capture Diglett just to battle 10 Surge. But the best way is going with, uh, you know, Nido King or Nido Queen because, you know, it's right there. So I'm going to be using a Repel, getting the heck out of here. I'm going to switch up Pokemon right here because... Uh, you might get that occasional Doug Trio, and uh, it might be at like level 30 and stuff. So, as you can see, it's a long trail back to Viridian City, and we might. Yeah. Oh no, it's a Diglett! Okay, let's go! Alright, bring it on. You think you're so hot? You think you're so Dougish Ruggish? And uh, Crud! It has uh, dug a hole, so that's one thing about Doug Diglett. They are fast, and I'm gonna run away. Oh, Crud! It uses Arena Trap, so. That's another thing that you can actually use for legendary Pokemon who are Roman. And, uh, well, I'm going to use a Stun Spore right here. Going to be battling this guy right here. And it missed. Crud. Come on. Yeah, this Pokemon is out for vengeance. It's blood and everything. So, let's go Stun Spore. We're going to slow him down. That's good. This is the Pokemon that I probably need for legendary Pokemon that are roaming. So, we're going to cut this guy. And, uh, can't move. That's right. You can't move. So here we go. Cut technique. And, uh, another growl. It's okay. The more growls you use, it's not really going to affect me. So, let's go with a, uh... Let's go ahead and capture this guy. I'm going to use a Pokeball. I should use a Pokeball right here. So here it is, guys. Capturing a Pokemon. Oh, yes. Diglett. Mm-hmm. So there you go, guys. Diglett! Not going to be on our team, though. Might be, I don't even know. So here it is. Diglett, the mole Pokemon. It is only 8 inches tall. Holy crud. Lives about 1 yard uh, underground where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appear above ground. It is a very fast Pokemon, guys. Trust me, Pokemon Stadium. Very good Pokemon to actually have. Anywho, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, I do. I do want to give it a nickname. Let's see. Let's see. Um... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna call it Earthquake. Probably because it, it learns Earthquake eventually. Will it be on our t team? Maybe. Eventually, you know, further along the line. I don't even know, but, you know, I'm not really good at nicknaming kids, Pokemon, and all that stuff. So there it is. Earthquake. Earthquake was transferred. It's at the PC. So, that's a Pokemon that we really need eventually, like, eventually later on right here. You guys will see them. It's just when we're trying to capture a legendary Pokemon, that's where it's, that's where you guys are going to find them. So, I'm going to use another Repel, because, uh, yeah. You definitely need that Pokemon, or the Repel. So, let's go. We're running. There's so many things right here. Please don't attack us, Diglett or Dugtrio. Yes! We only got attacked by one! 
and I went inside Rock Tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. If I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up. Hmm, a little foreshadowing. Just a little foreshadowing. So here we are, guys. Route 2 in all its glory. And uh, this uh, says Diglett's Cave. Um, is there a hidden item right here? I feel like there's a hidden item. Hold on. Ugh. Okay, alrighty. Hold on just a sec. Hold on just a sec. Okay. Route 2. Looking like a... I'm looking at my map right here, not finding any hidden items. I'm gonna go kick some freaking ass. That's right, I'm gonna kick some ass. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's really nothing right here, so I'm gonna eat. Uh, hold on, get my controller right here. Sorry, guys. Okay, so there we go. Alright, a few things you can find in Route 2 is this house right here. Now, if you go talk to this guy, He's gonna tell you, a faded Pokemon just has no energy left to battle. It could still use uh, moves like HM or Cut outside of battle, which is good. It's always good. And, uh, well, the Rappel is worn off. If you talk to this kid, he's gonna be looking for an Abra, and he's gonna be training it for a Mr. Mime. And if you guys remember, when I had a Pokemon Fire Red on my, on my channel, I actually traded an Abra for a Mr. Mime and had it on my team. Uh, it's already nicknamed, but like I said in a, pre in a few previous episodes, I will be having an episode where, you know, where to, uh, an episode for traded Pokemon only, if you guys get what I'm talking about. So eventually I'm going to come back to you, homie. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Anywho, let's go right here. We need the cut technique, and you'll be able to find some secret stuff, like a Moonstone stuff, I don't even know. Items, Professor Oak's aid, that kind of stuff. I don't know. And, uh, well, talk to this guy. Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can, uh, get through Rock Tunnel, which is true. Talk to him. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokedex has complete data on 10 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak entrusted me with the HMO5 for you. So, Draven, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on the line at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? Yes, sir, I have, because look at that, I got 23 kinds. Congratulations, here you go. And so, we get the HMO5, it's Flash, and uh, it lights up even the darkest of caves in the, and dungeons. Alrighty, okay, why, why did I press that button again? I don't even know. Alright, let's go right here, and uh, well, we're gonna be grabbing some more items. So as you can see, we found ourselves an ether, and then we grabbed ourselves another paralysis heal, which is good, and then there's one more right here, right? Could be wrong, I don't even know. Should be an item right here. I thought there was a moonstone right here. Eh, well, you know, what, what, what can you do? I don't even know. Okay, so, let's see. Now, use the cut technique right here. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see. Is there anything else in Viridian City that I need to go? No. Actually, I don't want to go into the Viridian Forest. Why did I do that? Let's go back up right here. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go to Pewter City because there is a little something that, you know, is waiting for us up there. And uh, let me just cut this whole thing right here because I can. I'm just cutting away, cutting away, away, way, way. And then cutting this one right here. And uh, hell yes, we're cutting this other one right here. Yes, sir. Okay, so here we are. Pewter City, we missed you. We haven't seen you in quite some time. And uh, now, if you go to the backside right here, there will be a tree waiting for you. Use the cut technique, the cut technique right here, and you'll be able to go inside the building right behind the tree. And uh, as many of you guys already know, there's a little special item right there. Talk to this guy. He's like, Shh, listen, I need you to share a secret with someone. I think that this chunk of ember contains Pokemon DNA. It would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I want you to get to get this examined at the Pokemon Lab somewhere. And there we go. We get ourselves the old Amber. Very, very good. And he's like, shh, get the old Amber checked. Okay. So what do these guys have to say right here? Let's see. Talk to this guy. You can't sneak into the back way. Nice try, kid. But no. Oh, whatever. Do you know about or do you know what Amber is? Amber contains a genetic matter of ancient Pokemon. There's a lab somewhere trying to resurrect Pokemon from Amber. Okay, so that's two fossils right there, guys. Now, if you talk to one of these guys, he's like, uh, we have two fossils of rare prehistoric Pokemon on exhibit. 
But if you talk to this guy, the secrets of space, mysteries of Earth, there are so many things about which we know so little. But that should spur us, uh, spur us to study harder. Not toss is, uh, not toss in the towel. The only thing you should uh, toss, well, how about seismic toss? Should I teach that to a Pokemon? Yes, sir, I do. Okay, so seismic toss. Who should I teach that to? Hmm. 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 You know what? I'm gonna teach it to Godzilla. Godzilla, because it needs it. Uh, Thrasher. I'm probably gonna teach it. Uh, I'm probably gonna teach it. Uh, what should we call it? That, that 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 karate chop move, where it, whatever it is. So I'm gonna take away smoke screen right here. Oh yes. And then uh, there you go. Seismic toss. I hope you won't toss in the town. Keep it up. Okay. So that is another thing that we got going on right there. And uh, I believe that is it right here for this whole area. And now, it's time to hear the ramblings of Draven. Going into Route 3, we will find something. I don't even know. And this is mostly for me to just level up the Magikarp that's at the daycare. Now, uh, let's see. I think we're already done with like the majority of the spots right here. As many of you guys already know, I will be switching up my Pokemon eventually. Uh, actually, in the next episode, I will be switching them. Uh, switching them. Uh, switching in the. Uh, wow, I can't even speak right now. Switching them up. Like I said, switching them up. And look, we're in Mount Moon. We can actually use repels now. You see how quickly we're gonna get through this. And uh, you guys probably already have an idea of who I'm gonna be switching up in this whole uh, this whole thing right here. I know, I know, it's very obvious, but you know they will be finding spots in my team eventually on different walkthroughs and stuff. Uh, Pokemon Platinum uh, is at its uh, like it's it's about to be done. Uh, actually, the day that I'm recording this episode is uh, January 15th. So so far we're still doing Pokemon Platinum, but once it's done, guys, who man, I am gonna be feeling great. Because that will be four regions done, and now we will be going into Unova. And of course, in Unova, Pokemon Black and White, you will be able to you will be able to use only one Pokemon, and uh, or one specific type of Pokemon. And that's Unova Pokemon. Uh, once we reach X and Y, you guys are going to be seeing a shit ton of Pokemon. Trust me, guys. I'm working really, really hard to get all these walkthroughs out. Feeling, uh, I'm actually very, very happy that I'm able to entertain you guys in such a way too because I haven't been able to do this when I was Draven XE711. And uh, now that we're on our 10th year, I learned to manage my time a little bit better, learned to pick walkthroughs that, you know, can be useful and all that stuff that many of you guys like and all that stuff. I mean, I'm seeing the likes, the views, and all that stuff. It may not be in the thousands, but eventually it will get into the thousands. One of my biggest goals, guys, here for 2022, or 2020, is... You know, get to 7,000 subscribers. I've been on the 6,000s for quite some time, guys. And that's mainly because of my uh, laziness and all that stuff. But as you can see, I'm coming out with walkthroughs. Trust me, guys. I want that 7,000 subscribers. Hopefully, maybe even getting to 10,000. So share my videos, guys. Share my videos. Share the name. You know, Gym Leader Draven. 10,000 subscribers, guys. That's a that's a long ways away. Anywho, here we are in Cerulean City, and, uh, well, there's really nothing uh, that we can do. I mean, hold on. I didn't even show this in the, the initial video right here, but if you go right here and talk to this guy, he's like, hello there, do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Would you agree to trade it for a Jinx? If I did have one, I would give you one, but unfortunately, that isn't the case. But, again, there will be an episode of me trading Pokemon along the way. This, this lady right here is like, my husband likes trading Pokemon. You're collecting Pokemon for your Pokedex, aren't you? Would you please trade with them? I will. I got you. I got you. Trust me, guys. I got you. So, anywho, this might be the shortest episode uh, in this walkthrough so far, probably. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's, 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 a, sh it's a short walkthrough. Or a short episode in this walkthrough. Uh, depending on or not, if I'm coming out with two in one weekend, it doesn't matter. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the next one, we will be going straight to dark, uh, the dark cave or you know rock tunnel, and uh, there will be quite a few switches on my team. So keep in mind, you know, if you have your favorite Pokemon on my team, then you know we'll see them eventually or whatever. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. See you guys. Mm -hmm.